Hello everybody, and welcome back to EverQuest 2. Uh, it's been a few weeks since uh, I made any EverQuest 2 videos. I've been busy on uh, Return of Reckoning and what have you, and doing the other videos. And since me and Nate only play once a week, I've not been able to uh, play with him on EverQuest 2, as we've been on Return of Reckoning. So I thought maybe... I should stay faithful to what we uh, what we do on this channel, and that is EverQuest 2 videos, and start doing a few on my own again. So, uh, there's a few classes I've never tried. Uh, one of them would be the uh, Beast Lord. I did play a Beast Lord on the original EverQuest, but I never played it on EverQuest 2. So I thought we'd give that one a whirl. So here we have uh, an animal. Uh, no, noble name that I gave him. And we're on the far seas, whatever it's called. Oh, let's find the right one. Oh, we need to speak to Captain Vile, if I remember correctly. We're on our journey to start. As you can see, we're level one. Not done anything. The only thing I've done is load the UI and make a little macro to start off with there. Let's just show you that one, shall we? It's just the two basic starting skills that we get. I thought I'd put them on the same button. As you know, it makes life a lot easier. Right. Hello, Captain. Ahoy! Tis good to see you awake. You seem a little squiffy. At least you cheated dead. Okay, where am I? <laughs> Me apologies. Who are you? I am Captain Drake Varlos. And this here fine ship is the far journey. And how did I get here? Me hearties pulled you from the sea. You and those other bilge rats. Do you remember? Uh, vaguely. Where are we headed? We are heading to the island of refuge. And... Ah! Angry! Quit talking at the shorty and fix that yard up. Don't want the ship to come apart on these high winds, do you? Aye, aye, Captain. You'd think she'd never seen a gnome before. <laughs> Okay, that's first Whoa, quest. Oh, there, the seas are getting a bit angry. Go speak to me first mate, Wowlum. He might have something for you to do. Okay, thank you. Right. Hello, Wallon. What? Oh, hey there. You startled me. Okay, sorry about that. Can I seem to find me hat? And you need some help? Sure. Me needs you to go looky in them near boxes. And if you find it, let me know. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what we haven't done. We haven't got our water up. This is the one we start with. I do believe you can tame them on the way. Whoa, that's a bit large. Hello there. Right, check out the boxes. Box is empty. Empty. Loot all. Okay, what have we got? That's his hat. And that's less mitigation than what we're wearing, so we won't be bothering with that. Ah, me hat! I was worried. See, this hat gives me the luck. Okay, glad to tell. Now me is safe, thanks to ye. Here, take this charm. You may find a use for it. Okay, thanks, Warren. Well, now, Ingrid over there can show you the rest of the ship. May need to pluck the course to the idols now. Okie dokie. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I am fine. Just after the last pickup, I have been working extra hard since Vim said she would give me the piece of Luckland she found. Uh, Vim? Yes, yes, Vim, the merchant over there. She found a small piece of the moon and is having me work for it. Maybe you can go buy it from her for me. Okay, but I don't have any money. Maybe you have something she will buy. Why don't you go talk to her? Okie dokie. Hello, Vim. The bad journey is a beautiful ship, ain't she? Uh, well, the only thing we've got to sell is that, so we'll sell it. And buy Shard of Luckland. There we go. Ah, oh, 
you got the shard. Great. Now I can stop doing this work and enjoy the rest of this trip. Here is some coin for your help. Okay. Danke schön. <laughs> Avast ye. We need to talk. Ah, uh, what is it? Well, tis bit of a problem. You see, there be rats on board. The vermin keep eating the supplies, and I need ya to go feed them to the deep before they eat anything else. Uh, so you basically want me to kill them? Yeah, that's what we be need. Yar. Ha ha. With this ear club, it is nice and splintered. Okay. Sure okay. to cause them some pain. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, okay, 6019, 6019, 6019, exactly the same as what we are wearing, so what's the point? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, ding a -ling. Alright. What have we got? Rush. Okay, what we'll some of that? Aha, you made quick work of them, Berman. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Wait, is that a... Oh, it can be. Quick, Ingrid! Secure the loot! There'll be a Dracota off the bow! Quick now! Secure those chests! Oh no, Adra Coulter. I'm so scared. <laughs> I let the gobble free. Nice one, Dracoulter. I mean, that was close. It's been here two months since the last reported sighting of one of them. That gang of a goblin has escaped. And look, me beautiful ship is on fire. He must put an end to his life afore he tears me ship apart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Here. A bit. Okay. Rob the body? Why not? Ah, you saved the far journey and me crew. It seems you proved to be quite a hero. Well, with the help of that young lass there, you do. With the help of that young lass. Okay. Ah, you saved the far journey and me crew. It seems you proved to be... There be the island of refuge. Get ready to drop anchor. Just let me know when you want to go ashore. Uh, Ingrid! Okay. So, you're ready to go ashore? Ah, uh, yes, you sent me Don't ashore. Don't you mind. Thank you. Right, so what, what I think we'll probably do is we'll get on the Isle of Refuge and we'll uh, start doing the quest there. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments below what, what, what you want me to do. Do you want me to uh, just do this as a, a complete walkthrough of how the, the progression of the Beast Lord, or do you want me to skip things and move on to different areas? Do you want me to do dungeons with them? What do you want me to do with it? Ah, Let me know. You are. I have been expecting you. Nanny more. There is much work ahead of us in establishing Freeport's dominance over this island. The Overlord's troops have secured the outpost, but there is a growing nuisance on the other side of the island that must be addressed. That is where you come in. Okay, you're expecting me. I am Te'il Envelix, attendant and confidant of the Overlord. I am here to ensure that our operation on this island is successful. You, on the other hand, will be assisting us with some field work to help prepare you for life as a citizen of Freeport. Oh, okay, I'm not going to ask you who the Overlord is. I'm ready to begin my adventures. Remember to always keep the will of the Overlord foremost in your thoughts, and you will go far. The city of Freeport is a power unrivaled on Norath. No matter what you might hear from Kinosian Riffraff, you must pledge yourself to this power and become part of it. Do this, and I will reward you handsomely. Okay. Excellent. There is indeed much potential in you. I think it is time to begin your training. I am ready. You must be strong if you wish to serve properly. 
Northwest of here, you can find trainer Darg Frostwind. Speak with him about combat training and do as he tells you. Okay. Thank you. In case you forget, I've written down his name and location in your quest journal. That is very kind of you. Okay, we'll have some of that then. We'll equip that. There's a shiny there. Uh, yes, there is. I missed it. Get that before we go anywhere. Can't leave a shiny there, can we? Of harvesting as well. One red mail, that'll be for the uh, Isle of Mara, I should imagine, for the quest. The gathering quest. Oh, come on, you can do it. Alright, we'll, we'll leave that for the time being. <laughs> Hello, boys. Ooh. Tough nuts. Greetings. I've been stationed here at the outpost to teach new recruits the finer points of combat. After all, it's our duty to honor the Overlord by achieving legendary victories in his glorious name. Okay, ready to fight. Very well. The nearby sparring partners to my left are all looking to fight. They may hurt you, but they won't kill you. Return to me once you've bested one of them in combat. Okay. I've just noticed that, that we need to move. Uh, where shall we have the pet thing? Uh, put that there, shall we? Yeah. There we go. Uh, formidable, average, or weak? Well, we'll do the formidable, shall we? Yeah, have that. Yeah. You get better at everything by the look of it. Yeah. Skills are a bit slow coming up. Oops. Have you defeated the sparring partner yet? Indeed I have. Good. The stronger you are, the more useful you are to us. What can I do? I'm sure of it. Go speak with Tail and Velix. She is just south of Sithor Spire. Okay. Um, I don't think I've got anything in the bank, have I? Because I, I didn't really plan this, to be quite honest. <laughs> I just thought I'd do it on the spur of the moment. If I'd have planned it, I would have made out some gear for him. Uh, let's organise all this. Get that there, get that there. Uh... Oh, I've got some bags in the bank. Well, that's really handy. Yes, indeedy. Right, we'll move those there. I don't think I've got anything else in the bank. Right. Dirty by pack, right? That can go there, that can go there. Some storage, might need it. Ah, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, visage of the overlords moving. Nice. 
Nor your fate, no thank you. So, are you ready to learn more about the outpost and perform your first service for the Overlord? Okay, I am. This outpost was recently established as a training ground for potential citizens of Freeport to hone their skills. Our first scouts on the island reported it as being uninhabited, perfect for our needs. It soon became clear that the initial reports were incorrect, and those scouts have been permanently reassigned to the bottom of the bay. Such is the price of failure. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Well, who are the inhabitants? The intruders are a sect of the Tunarian Alliance, a lowly order of vermin originating from Kinos. As a true servant of the Overlord, your duty is to eliminate them. This should prove extremely useful in preparing you for the challenges that lie ahead after you leave the outpost. Oh, okay, so I should go wipe them out. Not just yet. You will strike against those Kinosian scum when the time is right. First, we need to see if that weapon of yours is working. Are you ready for your first test? I certainly am. Go talk to Chef Gorga, just past the West Archway. She needs help gathering supplies to feed the members of the Freeport Militia who guard this outpost, which should provide a chance to test your combat skills. There is more to hunt on this island than just Kinosians. Okay. Report back to me when your duties with Chef Gorga are done. I certainly will tell. Another shiny there. There's normally one through there as well. I'm going to quickly check the... Yeah, I can stay there. I'll just check the around here, because it used to be shiny around this way as well. Yep, there we go. And didn't these give a quest? I'm sure they used to give a quest these little turtles. Maybe I was dreaming it. Ooh, where's Calendar? <laughs> Nostalgia. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to waste any more time on that. Not that important anyway. I was sure that they used to give a quest. Oh, we have mail as well. Better check that. Doesn't there used to be a mailbox around here? I can't see one. Oh well, not to worry. Militia to feed your mouth no bigger than the rest. Okay, I was sent here to help you. Ah, yes, Tail said you were coming. Good then. Gorga can stir the pot while you goes to collect more ingredients. Seaside <laughs> <laughs> stew. Only a couple things we still need to get. First is the buzzers, bug and Gorga they are. Not sure how they taste, but less of them is better. Be sure to pluck out the wings slowly. The last buzz is the best buzz. Okay, I'll get some there. Now let's do these. Instead of getting the ones outside. See, ooh, so I'm gonna see if we can get the, uh, see if we can get the queen to pop. Oh, 
Turn it in yet because I want the Queen. Ah, uh, soldier. No, that is not what we want. Ah, that's what we want. I need to sort this out. That shouldn't be there. There we go. That's better. Uh, five inch. Well, it's not really what we want, is it? Five to twenty-eight. Which is better than that, though. that and scribe that very nice all right talk to the chef oh what skill did we get cheap shot and pathfinding that's a uh, first buff until cancelled in the pot. The next yummies are the main pot filler, livers! Those elks are eating up all the eaten plants anyways, so we killed two halflings with one stone. Bring back the elk livers when you're done. Okay. Elk calf did. Better experience. <laughs> Toss him in and smell the Gorga magic. The stew is done now. Head back to Tail. She's waiting for you. Okay, okay, thank you. Did you enjoy your hunting in the seaside glade with Chef Gorga? Oh yes, I did, yes. Gorga was impressed with your handiwork. I'm sure the outpost militia guards will be pleased with her stew, though I can't stomach troll cooking myself. You show potential indeed. As promised, here is your reward. Thank you. So, are you ready to prove your worth again? Yep. Good. Now listen closely. Though a direct attack upon your enemy can be quite satisfying, there are often more subtle means of inflicting damage. Cut off the feet, and the head is sure to follow, if you get my meaning. Okay. Indeed. Cunning and subtlety are often effective. And who is more cunning and subtle than an assassin? We've established a camp through the archway to the west, at the far end of Seaside Glade. Go and speak to Assassin Vermeer. Who has devised a plan to strike at the heart of the Tunarians? Okay. Assassin Vermeer will explain the details. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, what's lucky for then? Oh, I need to sort out this lot. Uh, that's not good to anybody. Neither is that. Neither is that now. Put that there. Right, let's clear out some of this crap if we can. Before it gets too much. So, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Mm. 
Alright, let's sort that out. Yeah, I think I'll do some harvesting uh, off camera, I think. Alright, I'm going to pick up this quest, and I think then that will be it for this episode, folks. Hellos! Tail sent word you were comings. I've been scouting out the nearby areas, trying to get a better feel of what we's up against. Beast masters, these Tunarians are, training the wild animals of the island to fight for them. Ah, and you want me to. We's gonna cut off their resources to weaken them in the long terms, setting up our major attack after they are weakened. If we take out their picks of the wild animals, they'll have nothing to train. Okay, where are they? They trains the bears, hawks, and wolves on the island. The wolves are a bit too deep to touch now, but the bears and hawks are nearby, so we start with those. First, head north up the slope into the Wilderwood, or west into Cliff Diver Canyon and lay down some bears. Okay. Returns... Cuts me a bit short there. Sorry about that. You're that new <laughs> recruit I keep hearing about. Yes, I am, yes. Your reputation... There's a lot of undercover work here, which means even if you do well, the higher-ups may not know it's you doing the work. Some of my best work was claimed by someone else, and I mean to fix that. Not long ago, I intercepted part of a note one of the Tunarian spies was delivering. They've hidden the remaining pieces. We need to get them all back to learn more of what they're doing. Okay. I appreciate it. Whatever glory comes of this, we'll share in the credit. I'm sure this will more than make up for the work I've done that others have taken credit for. Okay, I'll see what I can find out. Warning, be wary of those wood elves. They are more cunning than others may realize. Examine the parchment. Search the Tunarian horse sentries for that. Okay. Right, so well, we shall do that next episode then, I think. Or I might do it and move on slightly ahead. I don't know. Let me know what you want me to do. Do you want to see it all or do you want me to just skip bits and move on a few levels? Let me know in the comments below. Alright folks, this is All Grey, signing off.